salutations, everybody. Thank you for coming back today. We're going to do a book walk with a very famous book written by the same author and drawn pictures drawn by the same illustrator as Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Do you remember that book where we talked about animals and colors, things that we see with our eyes? We're going to use another one of our five senses today. We're going to talk about our ears and what we hear. The title of this book is Polar Bear, Polar Bear. What do you hear? The author is Bill Martin Jr. That means he wrote these words. He thought them up and he wrote them down. The illustrator is Eric Carle. He's the one who drew these beautiful illustrations. Now on the front cover, I see a white polar bear. That's what I see. And on the back cover, I see the back of the polar bear. Are you ready to do this book walk with me? Great, here we go. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? So the author is asking a question, what do you hear, Mr. Polar Bear? And he says, I see a lion roaring in my ear. Can you roar like a lion? Roar. If you went to the zoo and you saw a lion like this, if you were listening to him with your ears, you might hear him roaring. Lion, lion, what do you hear? And he says, I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Snorting? How can we make a snorting sound? Hmm. Like that? I don't know. But that's what the hippopotamus is making, a snorting sound. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. What do you hear? And he says, I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Fluting? What does that mean, fluting? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. Look at the beautiful pink flamingo. It's so pretty. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? And he says, he hears a zebra braying in his ear. Braying is kind of like what a horse does. Kind of a neigh sound. Or he's making air with his mouth. They say that that's braying. Hmm, okay. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? And he says, I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Oh, wow. Do you see him? A boa constrictor is a snake. Can you hiss like a snake? Yes. Good job. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? And he says, I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Trumpeting? What does trumpeting mean? It's when he uses his trunk and he makes a sound like, mm, something like that, trumpeting. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? And he says, I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Do you see the leopard? He's snarling. Mm. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? And he says, I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Yelping. What would that sound like, guys? Yelp, yelp, yelp. Something like that? I don't know. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? Peacock says, I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Bellowing? What does that mean? 
something kind of kind of a deep sound maybe walrus walrus what do you hear he says i hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear a zookeeper is that an animal no that's a person that's the people that take care of the animals at the zoo they're called zookeepers and the walrus says that the zookeeper was whistling can you whistle that's kind of hard sometimes i'll try something like that whistling zookeeper zookeeper what do you hear and he says i hear children growling like a polar bear roaring like a lion snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. Now look at these pictures really closely, my friends. Is that really a polar bear? No. Is that really a flamingo? No. They're children dressed up in costumes, pretending to be the zoo animals. Well, what did you think of that book, friends? Did you like polar bear, polar bear? Let's go back and see if we remember what sounds each animal made. And let's talk about what color they are in this book, shall we? Polar bear, polar bear. What color was he? He was white, that's right. And he heard a lion roaring. If I look at this lion, I see orange and yellow. I see two colors. And he roars, roar. Good job. Next, we saw a blue hippopotamus. His body is all blue. Hmm. It said he was snorting. Remember that? Some sort of snort. Do you remember what animal came next? It was pink. Did you say flamingo? Good. And the flamingo was fluting, right? Yes, fluting. I'm not quite sure how to make that sound. Next, it was a zebra, a black and white zebra. And he was braying. Some sort of sound similar to a horse. Then we saw that boa constrictor or a snake. Do you remember what sound a snake makes? Good. This boa constrictor is green and he's got some yellow and red spots on him. Then we saw Mr. Elephant, Mr. Gray Elephant. And he was trumpeting with his trunk. Remember that? Then we saw that yellow leopard with brown spots. And he was snarling. Right? Snarling? Yes, snarling. He heard this beautiful bird. Do you remember the name of this bird? Peacock. Good. Peacocks have beautiful blue bodies. And their feathers are many colors, mainly blue and green. Aren't they beautiful? So beautiful, so beautiful. He was yelping. That, that's me yelping. I tried my best. Then we saw a walrus, a purple walrus. Remember him? And he was bellowing, making a heavy, deep sound. And then we saw the zookeeper and all the children dressed up as the zoo animals. This is a really good book, guys. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? Thanks for looking at it with me today. I'll see you next time. Maybe Mr. Teddy will be back next time. Bye, everybody.